testifying for the November elections wrapped up just a short time ago, and there was a significant develop in just the last couple of hours. Orleans Parish DA Leon Canizero announced he will retire and not run for re-election. Outside of the clerk of court's office with more on that, Mike. Hey, ladies, good evening. Yeah, depending on where you live, there are all sorts of issues and races for voters to decide. But the one that is getting a lot of attention here in Orleans Parish is the one you were talking about, the race for district attorney. We now know that Leon Canazero will not be seeking a third term. So that ends a lot of speculation that a lot of folks have been talking about for weeks. Our political analyst, Eyewitness News political analyst, Clancy DeBose, has been inside the courthouse watching last minute qualifiers come in. And before we get to those last minute qualifiers, because I know we have some, what does this essentially mean for the race with Canazero's exit? Well, with Canazero out of the race, it really puts all the focus on Jason Williams because Canazero, of course, has some controversy because of the fake subpoenas and, and material witness arrests. With him out of the race, Jason Williams, who's the most high profile candidate, at least at this beginning stage, uh, because he's on the council, he's under federal indictment. That makes Jason Williams the focus of all the other candidates' criticisms and attacks. And instead of you know having two candidates with a handicap in the race, we've only got one. That's Jason Williams. So it changes the dynamic of the race completely. When we talk about other candidates, we already knew there were two former judges and there was a last minute qualifier as yes, well. Yes, we now have three former judges. We already knew that former judges uh, Kiva Landrum, and Arthur Hunter uh, qualified on Wednesday, and today, in the last 30 minutes, actually 24 minutes exactly before qualifying closed, former criminal court judge and frequent candidate Morris Reed Sr. qualified. He was on the criminal court bench in 1996. He resigned to run against then DA Harry Connick, lost that race, and has run for a number of offices since then unsuccessfully. But Every race is a unique event, so we'll see what happens this time. Going to be a lot, a lot of folks watching this race for sure. Clancy, thank you for your time. I sure appreciate about. it. And remember, Election Day, November 3rd, you will need a photo ID in order to cast your ballot. Live from the Orleans Parish Courthouse, Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News. Mike, thank you. Leon Canazero's departure comes after a successful 42-year career in public office. First as criminal court judge, then as an appeals court judge, and for the last 12 years as district attorney. But in the second of his two terms as D.A., Canazero saw his popularity slip decidedly as widespread calls for criminal justice reform left him looking like an underdog against challengers for the office. Canazero announced his departure in his statement in which he said that after long discussions with his family, he realized his interest in running for re-election had waned. He said, quote, this was not an easy decision, but it is the one with which I'm most at peace.